In that case, we won't wait. Are you ready? Everyone ready? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're recording and. Uh, okay. We'll call the meeting of the Salaries and Emoluments Commission to order. Um, can we have a roll call, please. Probably turn all of the mics on because I bet they're not, not on. <laughs> we have just stepped in. So oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. I just remember Mr. City. Thanks, we realized. Oh, oh I can move the mic. I'm sorry. Should we uh, start again? <laughs> yes, please. Right. <laughs> okay. Yes, sorry. Yes, yes, please. Now that the mics are working. Oh, okay. Sorry. I almost realized. Yeah, just make sure. Three. Okay, call the meeting of the Salaries and Evaluations Commission meeting to order. Um, the time is 3.04, uh, April 18th. Um, could we have a roll call, please? Chair Weger? Here. Uh, Ms. Hayes? Present. Ms. Nors Norsworthy? Present. Ms. Redmond? Here. And Mr. Perkins is absent. No. Thank you. Um, the first order of business is to approve the agenda everyone has in front of them. Is there a motion to approve the agenda? This is Kim Hayes. I move to approve the agenda. Is there a second? This is Pat. I second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any objection? Hearing on the agenda is approved. Uh, the next order of business is to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Is there a motion to approve the meetings of the meeting of May 10th, 2022? Oh, sorry, sorry, of the sorry, minutes of April 4th, 2023. I'll move to approve. Is there a second? This is Pat, yeah, I'll second. Is there any discussion? Uh, is, uh, is there any objection to approval of the minutes? Yeah, that was deemed them approved. Is there any unfinished business? Hearing none, we can move on to new business. And the first order of business is the 2024 reorganization of the Salaries and Emoluments Commission. Item number, number one is to elect a chair. Is there a motion? Can I ask a question? Sure. I ask, Mr. Chairman, do you want a continuous chairperson? I'm willing. I'm not, uh, you know, you would, I'm, not, you, I'm you willing to. to. Yeah, okay. I'm fine. In that case, I nominate Steve Vigor as chair. I'll second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Are there any other nominations for chair? Hearing none, um, is there any objection? Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll be in the, I was elected chair. Is um, are there any nominations for vice chair? Mr. Chairman, before we do that, I'd like. I think um, we need a younger person as, as chair as vice chairperson. So. Okay. Um, sorry. That's okay. I I nominate. Uh, Kimberly for vice chair. I would accept the nomination. I will, I will second. Okay. Okay. This has been a nomination. Are there any other nominations for vice chair? Hearing none, we'll deem that uh, Kimberly has, has been uh, elected vice chair. The next item of the business is reviewing the salaries of mayor, assembly members, and school board members. So on that, I think it would be most appropriate just open the floor for discussion. Anyone has comments? Mr. Chairman, I, I've looked at, I've looked at these closely, and I don't, I think we've reached the top for, for mayor at the current time, in looking a number of years ahead, 
Because every time we raise that, then that's an increase in everything else that happens around us. And, and also, I think that the assembly uh, salaries are within range. They're, they're all also okay at this time, in, in my view. I do think that we might want to do a little looking at the school board. When I looked at back, uh, that's something we might want to consider. But in my view, the assembly and the mayor are in good shape for the next few years. Um, other discussion? Yeah, I wanna, this is Kim Hayes. I wanted to agree with uh, Pat's uh, comments about the school board, knowing that our minimum wage went up to about 1173 and looking at um, the last resolution and when it went into effect, we're about approaching that for our school board members here with 1180. So I, I would agree with Pat as uh, looking at that as our possible um, action this year. Mrs. Karen, I would agree with both Pat and Kim. Thank you. Okay, so. I'm going to rely on staff a little bit to um, help guide us on this, but my, uh, my understanding, I believe, is that if we want to take up a salary issue, we would calendar it. So basically, the only thing we're doing is deciding today whether to take it up as a topic of discussion for a future meeting. Is that, is that a fair characterization? You know, I don't know. Neither of us actually know. Uh, Desiree took care of this board for several years, and she left in January, and she just left me with the instructions to contact Steve in April. So that's as much as I know, and I'm, so I will look quickly uh, and find out. Uh, you did the last one in 2020. Um, it appears so that was the last time we passed resolution 2020. This is Karen at the, our last meeting last year. We asked um, Deidre to look at a lot of information on the time that the school board met um, and all that. She provided that information to us. She's, um, and I didn't bring money today. Um, but we, she did send it to us in an email, um, all the research that she had done on the the meetings, the time they spent, and all of that. So she kind of did all that work for us last year. Okay. So she has a research folder, so let me find that. I'll go through it. Let me this quickly. And to your point, Chair Rieger, I think that is correct. I think we just say this is what we want. To, if I remember correctly, that's what we did last time. Is we'd have to notice any because we'd have to have a resolution to discuss, right? Right. We. It's clear we'd have to notice an action. The only question in my mind is whether how deeply we could discuss it today uh, beyond deciding whether we want to discuss it. I think we need to have, we probably should have before us the figures and stuff that we had before uh, that Karen referenced. And then we can. Um, so we, we would, and then at that meeting we can discuss it, and, I, and that should be a public meeting too. Doing that. well, they all should be. They're all public meetings, but uh, be a work session to, to 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 go through it. I because I'm just I, I look at that and I'm like, I know they don't meet as much as the assembly, but they still have a lot of work that they're doing, and that it's it's really we ask these people to volunteer, but Volunteering is a, there, there has to be some compensation for the type of volunteering that they're doing. Thank you. Well, I think I detect there's a consensus, or at least it seems like a majority of the members would be in favor of bringing up the subject of the school board uh, compensation. So it might be good enough for today to just say that we're going to calendar it. Um, so when I look at the um, resolution from 2020, it was adopted in September of 2020. And then it looks like you guys met May 7th, May 26th, June 24th, August 18th, and September 9th, and then approved the resolution September 9th. So um, if I would agree that that's what you guys did in the past is calendared um, 
a future meeting to take up the to start discussing the issues and um, I would be happy to recreate whatever Desiree created for you guys last year or if somebody still has it in their email um, that can be a jumping off point for us for uh, this year that sounds good is it um, would the committee be comfortable if we do a do a poll to find a time we can meet and then ask staff to uh, do the public notice that's associated with that? That works for me. It works. <clears throat> okay. okay, so I think that's the direction we'll okay. go. Um, is there any other new business? Okay, so what I understand from the desires of the committee, we are Planning to calendar another meeting after we find out the members' availability. We are intending that that calendar would be focused on compensation of the school board members. And um, just before we let go of the other two, I am curious about one thing, and that is whether we, the, the resolutions that govern the mayor or the assembly, had any. Um, like cost of livings or escalators in them, or was it set at a fixed number and, and we were silent on what, how many um, incident changes? Does anyone remember what, how that motion read? No, I don't have the binder. I okay. believe it was a set number. I don't, I don't believe we put a cost of living in there. Okay. Because okay. we did such a big jump. It was a big jump. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see. 2020 was the mayor, and it was a set amount. Um, it talks about being entitled to health and benefits. It talks about um, that remains in effect until changed in accordance with charter. And so it was just the one set amount. Okay. And I can look up the assembly. Yeah, let's check the assembly too. <coughs> uh, no, that one is also uh, a set amount plus two fifty by weekly. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. Okay. Oh, and then it does have a different amount, it looks like, in 2020 and 2021. So that one increased and increased and increased the last time in 2021. Oh, right. Um, for newly elected or re elected chair of the assembly, the salary shall be set at. 2020 it was 47,028.80 and then in April 21 it was 67,204.80 and then um, Anchorage Assembly members was 41,995 uh, as of April 2020 and then 60,000 as of April 2021. Thanks, thanks for that clarification. Anything else under new business? If not, uh, we go on to member comments. And Mr. Chairman, I have a question about, um, do we have to sign new uh, conflict of interest forms or the ones we have you signed mean, previously in effect? What you've assigned previously is um, in effect as long as it's, the information is still the same. If, you, if your information is changed, then you just need to fill out a new one when that information changes. Thank you. Yep. Is that, um, is that also the same for the oath of office? No. Oh. Nope. Nope. So, so, so I will swear you in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can take care of that after, I guess after the meeting. Um, yeah, if you guys would come up to the clerk's office, we'll get, I'm okay. going to <laughs> Anything else under member comments? Is there anyone from the audience who wishes to testify? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, okay, I think we have our, our direction set. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? This is Kim Hayes. I move to adjourn. Second. Hearing no objection, we're adjourned at 319.